So the school teachers are on strike today, which means I've got both my boys with me. Ian the Master of Pieces, part-time eBay reseller. Best thing about that is I'm gonna be back for school pickup time. It means we can come a bit further afield. And today we've come to Porth Core. I love it down here. Beautiful beach in the background. There's a really nice cafe for lunch as well. Let's hit them charity shops, see what we can find to resell on eBay. What have we got here, look? Barclays Premier League badge. Swans, Swansea City. Fulton, 56 on the back, that's official Premier League numbers. What size is this, size medium, looks barely worn. Six quid. That feels really good quality. Let's get it. So first find of the day, and it could be an absolute banger. I've done a bit of research into this shirt. Now Swansea got relegated from the Premier League in the 2017-2018 season. And they had a player on their books called Jay Fulton, number 56. I will do a little bit more research into this, but there is a chance that this could be a player worn jersey. If that's the case, this could be something pretty special. They've got a really nice selection of games in here. Not just your bog standard FIFAs. There's some great games just to play. I've looked up a couple of solds, and I think this one does pretty well. Just Dance 2016. 199. With the manual in there. Yeah, we'll get that one. What do you think of these? In 2005. A pair of Nike Airs, eight quid. I've tried to search them for using Google Lens, can't find this model. I tried to search them on active eBay listings and sold, can't find any. Looks like a bit of damage around there. There's a label, size 11 and a half. But I'm gonna leave them. I might be leaving something special, might not be, but they're going back. Don't see PSV games very often. Tear away. Ah, there's no game in it. Someone's had the game away. It's not loose in the bottom of the box, is it? No, that's long gone. Have a look at this on here. Atlantic 75 remote control lifeboat. That is wicked. Box is a bit battered. We'll get this just to have a bit of fun ourselves. I was getting a little bit excited in that shop back then. I checked sold listings for these. There aren't any listed on eBay actively. The last sold, just after Christmas, £120. I don't know whether I trust that. It doesn't look like the thing that would go for that amount. The moulding on the boat inside doesn't look particularly high quality. So the one I got is that Atlantic 75. There is that 7 remote control boat as well. Solds on that are about 40 quid. Again, only one up there, only one sold. So I don't know how to value this at all. Sold listings is all I've got to go off for something like that. 120 quid, really? I can't see it, I can't see it myself. But we got it for two pounds. So we're gonna get it going around the bath, test it out. 120 quid. Go on boat. It's working, isn't it? Yeah, needs a bit more charge. 120 quid, absolutely worth every penny of that. Here's a little fine boys, that's it. Complete solutions, Silent Hill. There's only one of these listed on eBay at the minute and they've listed it for 80 pounds. Solds are more like a tenner. Daddy, look at this stuff. And what have you boys found there? This one. Another. A to Z, PS2 cheats. Books in here are really, really cheap. 20p, 30p, something like that. So even if it's not worth much, well, I'm gonna get it anyway. Keep digging deep, boys. That's where you find the good stuff. Old Tom and Jerry there for 20p. Ah, look at this. Transformers Robot in Disguise graphic novel. Do you want a comic to read, guys? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's get it then. Oh, Daddy, is the green one a bad guy? Oh, that's Grimlock. Grimlock. 
and pulled out the box there. Look at this, it's an old Liverpool match day programme. The game doesn't really matter, but look, it's signed. Really awesome. It looks like it looks like Steve someone. I mean it's from 2019, 2020 season. Wouldn't it be Stevie Gerrard. If anyone knows whose autograph that is, let me know. There is a Liverpool Brighton. Could be a Brighton player. Book for my brother. Godzilla. Stacked up on each other. Found Jack Jack. Sid. Nice. Sid. You've been you've been collecting these cards, haven't you? So you found those in the shop? Yeah. Some nice shiny Lego cards for your binders. And daddy. So the money I make from reselling has allowed me to reduce my hours in my full-time job. Perfect for today, because I can bring both my boys down to Porthcore. We've had a good look around the charity shops, found some bits, gone for a lovely lunch. Now we're just playing on the beach. Look at this. Waves are coming in. I wouldn't change this for anything. There's a Builder Bear Toothless up there. He's got the wings as well. That's one thing to check whenever you find these. How much is he? Four quid? I haven't got any phone signal in here, so I can't check solds. But four quid for a Toothless? That's, that can't be too bad, can it? There's a couple of things going on on the shelf. See those My Little Ponies? That one there is old. 49p. On the bottom you can see Hasbro. 1986. Reasonable condition. We'll be getting that one. These two aren't official My Little Ponies. No branding on the bottom. The tech around the corner, look. Walt Disney Studios Snow Globe, only two pounds. Got the original tag on it. It's pretty heavy. I don't know if it should be that colour. It's, it's got a yellowy brown tinge to it. But it doesn't look like there's any damage on the outside. Oh, look at all that! It's all really gloopy inside. I mean, for two quid, I, I still get it, but that's horrible. Look, that is horrible. And check these, just tucked away on the bottom shelf. A pair of pink Nike Air Force Ones. UK size five and a half. A little bit worn on the back. But I think I could clean those up. Four quid. Absolutely not. <laughs> Got to get them for four quid. A little bit of a result in that shop. So I was picking up those pink Air Force ones and someone donated a bag full of other shoes. Obviously not priced up because they'd only just come in. I saw these on the top. A pair of UK size 12 Nike Tempos, AstroTurf bottoms. So I asked how much they wanted. Five quid. And as soon as I lifted them up, these were poking out from underneath. Again, large size. Yeah. Adidas Questar Boosts. Decent condition, whopping size. But for a fiver, you've got to be picking them up. So we're back in the garage. Great day charity shopping. I'm looking forward to researching that Swans football shirt a bit more. But I want to give a shout out to Forever Sorting Bricks because earlier in the week I had a nice parcel arrive. You know, I picked up that Megazord with the box well it wasn't complete and i'm trying to source all the missing pieces and forever sorting bricks had a megazord on ebay with some of the bits i needed i've parted it out and this is what he looks like at the minute you can see i've now got the breastplate on there and also that um elephant head shield all i'm missing is that sword my brother's 3d printed one for me but there's nothing like having the original one is there so he's starting to look the part so forever sorting bricks thank you so much Right, I'll just put you up there and let's roll through some sales. Let's run through the weekend sales on eBay. First sale. You don't see this board game every day. Care Bears Warm Feelings. It's by the Parker Brothers. It has hung around for a long, long time. I picked this up for three quid in the charity shop. Out of principle, really, it's a notoriously high-priced charity shop. This one they had underpriced. It sold for 15 quid all in. I probably won't pick it up again because it's taken so long to sell. But the type of game where you need the right buyer in the right place wanted to pay the right price. Nice artwork though, eh? On the theme of board games, I've got another question of sport game to look out for. This is called Famous Sporting Faces. It's from 1997. If you open it up, all it is is like the question of sport picture around. Lots of larger cards in there. Because it's 1997, it's got an early picture of David Beckham and also Tiger Woods in there. Sell-through rate is shocking. The only way I sold this was pricing it right at the bottom. 
this has gone for just under 30 quid all in people are asking 50 60 70 quid for it they're just not shifting beaver town bones pint glass i've only now got one of these left that one's gone for 10 quid all in i saw this little hello kitty beanie baby i got this as part of a trade from connor ages ago it's the type of thing I don't mind just sitting in the background, ticking along, doesn't take up any space at all. It's gone for 12 quid all in, so it's worth having these type of items on the store. Next up, we got Snowy the dog from Tintin, and I picked him up last Wednesday in the charity shop for a pound 50. And I know a few of you guys have messaged me. He's been really, really popular, and there aren't many of this type of Snowy out there. I priced him up for just under 20 quid, sold within two or three days. I really hope one of you guys got him, and I really hope he's going to a great home. Clothing sales have just been going through the roof for me. I rarely sell clothing and I've sold six t-shirts or tops. I've sold this size double XL Lacoste Sport Argyle jumper. It's polyester, it's not wool, and it's got that classic golf look about it, hasn't it? That one has gone for 20 quid all in. If you live in Wales, this is an absolute bolo. This is the 2014 to 2016 Wales home football jersey. Keep an eye out for the green adidas stripes down the side now i paid two pounds in the charity shop for this a couple of weeks ago but only got around to listing it on saturday it sold within two hours uk size small 50 quid maybe i could have squeezed an extra tenner out of it maybe but i've got the majority of the profit all on the same day keep an eye out for that jersey this wales kappa jersey is horrific it's got like a lycra blend in it. It's really unforgiving. It's from the mid 2000s. It's got the Kappa logo on the sleeves. Like a really horrible mesh back to it. This one is size small and that one's gone for 25 quid all in. And I sold an extra large one as well. The problem with this, it does have a few stains on the front. This is definitely a supporter's jersey. It's been worn in the pub while the games have been on. Some has been splashed down the front of it. I was never going to get as much as what that small one was going to be because of the condition. Still, it's gone for £17.50 all in. If you're ever going to pick a sponsor to sponsor a referee, it's going to be Specsavers, isn't it? This is from the Magnus League. It's a size extra large rugby jersey. That one has gone for 20 quid all in. Now, sales on eBay Monday and Tuesday have fallen right off a cliff. Monday, two sales. Firstly, I sold this Friction of the Builder Muck. Terrible condition really, loads of scratches on the top of the cab there. Still went for a tenner though, paid $1.99 in the charity shop. And this one I only picked up last week, £2.50 or £2.99, something like that. It's a Leapfrog Leap Reader pen, keep a look out for them. And I've bundled together three books. Those are gone for 15 quid or just over, all in. This should come with a little charging cable, I don't have that. If I did, it would have gone for more. Tuesday, very similar story, two sales. I sold this pair of UK size seven Adidas Adipreen shoes. They've only gone for 12 quid. There's not really that much going for them. They're from 2009, so they got that retro look to them, but these haven't been that popular at all. But this was a nice sale, a Robots in Disguise Soundwave Transformer. There's a Decepticon logo on the top. It's got the gun with it. That one has gone for 22 pound 50. So look, Monday and Tuesday haven't been the busiest, but remember, I'm only looking for 15 to 16 pound profit per day, tip five to 600 pound profit per month. And across those four items, just about there for Monday and Tuesday. So guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Shout out Owen Morgan, first commenter on the last video. Second time Owen has been the first commenter. He's joined in the lead with Nath T, both on two. Next video, we'll see what happens this weekend. It's the start of the Six Nations, Wales against Ireland. I'll be watching that on Saturday. So I don't know if I'll be doing anything reselling related. If I am, I'll let you know. I'll definitely be you on next Wednesday though. Either way, catch up with you then.